All right, Alex, we haven't, we haven't figured out yet where you're going to have lunch and dinner. I'm going to give you a menu here before we leave. But welcome to IndyCar. Welcome back to the United States. At Racer, there's been a huge bunch of mail this week. And, and you know, some people are like, well, why does he want to come here? He's a Formula One guy. And there's a lot of other people that have been following your career and said, hey, this guy's won in Europe ever since he started. It's good. He's an American. We need an American series. Can you just address the fans and say, hey, you, you told me on the phone yesterday, it'll be an honor to race IndyCar. I don't know what the future holds, but this I'm looking forward to it. No, 100%. Um, obviously, the, the majority of my racing career and life has been spent in Europe, um, but I'm very you know, honored to have this privilege to, to be able to drive for Andretti Autosport and, and race an IndyCar, and it is something entirely new to me. Um, it's, it's strange to come back to the States and feel like it's a little bit of a, a shift, um, but it, it's been a great experience so far, and I really can't wait to drive, um, you know, next week. When you were growing up, I think you even, I've read a couple stories, you watch kart racing, and you said even the last couple of years you've you've watched it, but a lot of kids that grew up in in, in Go karts or where they ran. You know, their goal was Formula One, and you said something yesterday that was that, was, that really hit home. You've been over there since you were 17 years old, and that's always been your goal. So when you finally get in it last year, it's hard to walk away. Yeah, I mean, I think you talk to a lot of kids in go karts and such, and, and their dream is Formula One. Um, you know, you're told that it it is um, something pretty special, and so from when I was 10 years old, that was always kind of my focus, and I knew that I needed to race in Europe in order to make that happen. So. When I had that opportunity, I, I jumped at it, and, and I've been over there trying to make that happen since then. Um, and to, to be able to race as we did last year was was an accomplishment of, of what we had worked for. Obviously, it wasn't um, you know as much as you'd like to do, being only five races. But nonetheless, we we represented you know I think ourselves and America very well, and um, it was a positive experience. But you know, looking forward, I think this is this is just as positive, and um, you know, I, I have a very clear objective of what I want to accomplish, and um, hopefully, we can do that from the very beginning. When you think about Mo Guzelman and Mark Blundell, and even Emerson Fittipaldi and Justin Wilson, Nigel Mansell for a couple years. Mansell's a little different since he was a world champ, but those guys, when they came over here, I remember Blundell and, and Guzelman were like, you know, we want a chance to be competitive again. And I think the best thing about you coming over here is you're stepping into one of the best teams and you're going to have a great support system. No, 100%. That was part of um, a major kind of deciding factor for us was the fact that, that Michael and, and Brian were going to be very involved in the program. And, um, you know, they're both racers. So they both understand what it's like and, and what a driver goes through. And, and for me, you know, having to learn a lot in a very short period of time, um, it's amazing to be able to have that resource to kind of rely upon. And it's something that I'll be maximizing as much as I possibly can. This is, all, this is just my opinion, but I just remember Mansell saying, I'm going to have an easier time learning ovals than than guys going to, to, to Europe to learn Formula One, like when Michael, when they switched places basically that one year. But don't you, do you, will you look at this and think, okay, I've got this great team that's been running these races forever and ever, and if you have a good engineer and you get comfortable, road racers seem to be able to adapt to ovals much better than oval racers adapt to road course racing. To be honest, I've, I have never driven a Novel, um, so I'm going in with no preconceived notions of what it's going to be like. I'll probably have a better response to that after I drive the car, let alone a Novel for the first time. Um, so I'm going into it knowing that, you know, I, I don't really have a lot of experience to rely upon. Um, you know, the road and street courses I, I'm very confident um, for, and, and I know that it's it's something that I'll be able to adapt to quite quickly. Um, but the ovals, I'm, I'm going in and going to take it one step at a time. Um, and, you know, I think that I'll be able to adapt. Um, it's just we need to do it quite quickly uh, because obviously the the second race is a novel. Yeah. Okay. What about what's your test schedule? Do you know it yet? I'll be driving in, in Sebring um, for a couple of days before St. Pete, which is obviously positive to be able to drive the car um, prior to the first race. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to driving a race car. It's been it's been uh, three months since I've driven last, so I uh, can't wait. The other thing I, I said to you when we were on our had a phone conversation the other day. You've always been a competitive guy. You've been a winner in everything you've done. This just It just seems like to me that would be such a, a boost of energy that, man, I'm not going to be underfunded and five seconds off because our team doesn't have the money. you got a chance to be on the podium right away. Yeah, 100%. That's that's the goal, um, and that's what we're going to try and go out and do. Um, we want to you know, go into St. Pete with, with as much motivation to do that as any other race. And um, you know, I think that you know, with the people that I have around me and, and the brief time that I spent here, we have every capability of doing that. All right, Alex Rossi, Alexander, how do you like to be referred to, brother? Whatever you want. <laughs>
No, we can't tell. All right, Alex Rossi, the latest American IndyCar driver here at Andretti's. We wish him well this year. We'll see him at Phoenix at the test this week. Robin Miller for Racer.com.